this time on Mike Noble Digging. The backcountry diggers are in search of a lost piece of history that led up to a major battle during the Revolutionary War. This property is 100 acres, so they really have the work cut out for them. Stay tuned to see what they find. Hi guys, uh, today I'm heading out to a location that I have been wanting to go to for a considerable amount of time. Today's the day. Uh, South Carolina is known for many battles fought during the Revolutionary War. Uh, many coastal, many here in the, the uh, back country. But two of the South Carolina battles that were fought here are considered the turning point of the war. One is Kings Mountain. That's actually uh, kind of on the border of North Carolina, South Carolina. And one is Cowpins. Now today, we're featuring Cowpins in this hunt. The Battle of Cowpins only lasted about 27, 28 minutes. But the decisive loser of that battle had to get there, the British. They had to get to that battle. Well, how'd they do it? It involved crossing a river. Well, it just so happens that the property owners who own the property that that river ford is located on gave us permission to come out and hunt it. They're excited about us coming out too. Well, heck, they're even going to make us hamburgers and hot dogs from what I understand. They say they know right where the fort is, so that tells me that this place has probably been used as a crossing for many years, not just for the British. But this is an exciting time for me. Uh, backcountry diggers are going to get together, and uh, we're going to hunt that location. So here we go. All right, well, this is it. Looks like a huge property. I think it's like a hundred acres or something like that. I'm going up a, a dirt road. It's supposed to be a house up here. Ed, who is the reason why we even have this permission, is supposed to be already up here. I'm excited. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun. We got some of our guys here. We even have the land owners here. We get, well, actually, Brent, you're you're just up here. You're, you're not a landowner, are you? No. Okay, you're with you're with Ed. Okay, Ed's uh, the reason why we're up here, and this is Eller. He is the property owner, and uh, uh, he uh, he's gracious enough to let us come up here and see what we can pull out of uh, out of uh, uh, his property. Uh, hopefully, we can find something very historical. Uh, and you say you know right where that uh, that ford in the river was, right? We know about where it was. About where it was, okay. Okay, my guess is it's probably used for years and it wasn't just the British that came across. It was uh, probably everybody knew about that place where they could cross. So we're just waiting on a few more people and we're going to be on our way. I guess it's going to be like down that direction. Well, we got the rest of the guys here. So. We're going to get them caught up to speed here, and then we're going to head down to our location and get our hunt going. Yeah, so I just put, dug a bucking ball. That was the first hole I dug, and it turned out to be a relic. So it has a bit of the sprue on it. So that is a very cool thing, and I'm very hopeful. Let's keep going. Uh, Brent, uh, one of his first things was this very unusual thing. It may have come on, come off a tractor. Nice old piece of brass. But we're starting to hit some things now. Let's see if we can find something 200 years old. What do you think? Sound good to you? I think it's looking good. I think so. Hey, you think you got? Yeah, you got a pocket knife, all right. That's one of the sides. 
But right there's the end. All this iron is probably the blade. That's yeah. what you got, buddy. Really? I'm standing here with the landowner, Mr. Eller. And uh, apparently where we're standing at right now, this is a nice wide open field. And there's Tom. Oh well. <laughs> but uh, apparently from, from uh, what he's telling us, when the British crossed, the river is right down there. When they crossed across here, this is where they camped. They camped out here. Uh, in fact, um, he said that uh, uh, you know of a location where one of them had set a tent up at? There was a big old tree, and I don't see it here now, but they said that that was actually at the head of where the tent was actually set up. Okay. So we're hunting a, a, a Revolutionary War British campground. Who knows what's going to come up here? I'm excited. <laughs> that sounds like Gene found something pretty cool. We'll have to take a look at this. A little fire bucking ball. Could there be more in that hole? So that's uh, two out of this location so far that I know of. Well, this is it, folks. That is the Packlet River. This is where the British soldiers crossed up to this point right here where they had their encampment. So. Yeah, it does something to you. Just as he'll stand here. I love this. I hope we pull some uh, great stuff out of here today. We're still hunting in the field. Actually, some of us are. I think some of us kind of moved on. But I'm uh, standing here with the owner. He uh, has shown a piece I found. Actually, look at that curvature. I think that is a piece of broke bean pot. And to be honest, if that is a piece of broke bean pot, then that is most likely a part or a piece that is left from uh, the encampment that was here. So uh, there is some evidence. That's cool. I love it. I love it. And Tracy's got a few things. Yeah. That's actually a, a mule shoe. Has the nails stuck in it yet. And you say you think you, you got a pocket knife? Yeah, or you did one. get one? Oh wow, look at that thing here. Take that. Look at that thing. That's a pocket knife. Not just a pocket knife. <laughs> that is crazy. Of course it's modern, but did you show anybody that? I showed uh, Bill, I think I showed him. <laughs> that is cool, that is a cool knife, man. Kind of showing off some of these finds. Sure enough, oh that turned out pretty, didn't it? Yeah. That is a 12 gauge, it's got that star on, that's going to be turn of the century right there. But that is in such nice shape, that's pretty, man. He pulled it out. Oh, look at that. He, he pulled the blade open. out. That is a crazy looking knife. Nice. to do it, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> is it sharp? It feels like it's pretty sharp. <laughs> feel, I mean, don't feel too hard. But that's, yeah. a, that's a hunter's knife, isn't it, or something? I don't know. It could, it, I'm sure it probably was. This is the way it is. What do you think? You going to try to use it? Yeah. <laughs> I take that old handle off her, you know, buckhorn. And, and, and fasten it to that, huh? I see if I was strong enough to do it. <laughs> there we got a mule shoe. That's, uh, that's an oldie. I don't know if it's 1700s old or not, but we really didn't find too much I could have actually pointed to this location being a campground. 
We know the Ford is down in, down in this area. Ford. Yeah, the Ford. What the where they would cross the river. Not not Ford versus Chevy or anything. We're talking about a Ford as in to cross. Okay. <laughs> So, so we really didn't find anything pointing to that much activity here, but this is such a big property. What, what would you say? It's like 200 acres, or 200, it's 100 acres, but then there's not that much that's against the river. It's, you know, it's, no. it's a nice stretch. So, um... But that bean pot that was found, the, the fragment that that bean pot made, if that's where the campsite was, right. maybe part of it. The bean pot I found uh, uh, probably could have been from that campsite. Uh, that's promising, but you never know. It, it could have been a hundred years later too. But uh, that's the closest we got so far. Is that bean pot? Found a few bucking balls and stuff like that. And we don't know what the other guys found yet. We don't know what uh, Ed found. We don't know what Bill found. So maybe they found something really good. Pull tab? Bill was finding pull tabs? <laughs> what would you get, Brent? Uh, Brent, bro right? Broke the narrow head. Brent. Yeah, Brent, yeah. <laughs> it's just... Sure uh, enough, mm -hmm. you got the bottom part. I'd say that's the point up here. Yeah. That's a real old one up there. So, that's so. cool. That is cool. <laughs> Bill found something that is very a significant thing right here. He's got some square nails. Not many of us even found that, so I guess he did a little bit more exploring. Uh, I think that's cool. I think that's cool. So we know there were some buildings around here. Nice job, Bill. Oh, like random, well, it's just so much property here. <laughs> the more we know about different areas, the more easier it is to put those pieces together. Now our hosts are treating us to a nice little uh, cookout here. So check this out. This would have been because the road is right there. So they would. Have Hamburgers, hot dogs, got all kinds of drink. Got Tom, got Tracy with tea. Yeah, this is. <laughs> we come and dig up the ground. They they do this for us. Isn't that nice? Thank you for this day to to come together and to share time with friends, metal detecting, and and enjoying the hobby in this beautiful weather and this beautiful land that you provided. We're grateful for those that have invited us here and this opportunity to spend time with them and to be able to, to metal detect and to just show our friendship and our love for one another. We pray that you'll bless this food and our time together and that you will allow this food to bring nourishment and strength to our bodies and that we may serve you, mighty God. We pray in Jesus' most holy name. Amen. Amen. We're, uh, we're sitting here and uh, Daryl is telling me uh, about something that happened here. And this is one of the reasons why we're even mail detecting this property, his property right now. Uh, uh, we know that uh, the events that we have talked about, about there being a campsite here, a British campsite, about this being where they, they crossed the river at. We know all that because, uh, well, yeah, you know, it's about... Yeah, and there were some gentlemen that came from England and with them they carried a bunch of documents, maps, and names of the, the incident that happened uh, when the British crossed the Packlet River here in South Carolina and heading up to what, what turned out to be the Battle of Cowpens. Well, what happened was they actually had certain areas where they stopped and camped and one of the places they stopped when they crossed the river here was uh, at this location and they did it because it was the shallowest part um, of the river so this is where they brought the army over and this is where they camped and um, that's what's that's what's going on here 
So, we do know this has happened. Uh, uh, according to you, they, they had a tremendous amount of documentation uh, yes. showing that this has happened. Um, and, uh, well, they even, they even took it out to the Calpins Museum. Yes, they did. Um, according to what we have heard, they had so much information and Calpins had very little uh, about this particular incident and what was going on up to that point. And so they actually presented these documents directly to them, giving them the map of where they actually went on the way up to Cowpens. So they actually tracked them, how they got there. Wow, very cool. So we're in the right area, guys. It's a big area. We didn't necessarily find what we were looking for today. But, we found uh, a few things. Found a few things. Um, but, uh, um, We've been told that uh, we're welcome back uh, yeah. at another time and, and maybe we can uh, do another little search and maybe narrow down where this location is. Amen. That would be great. A lot of land. It's right here in the Packlet River, south of Gaffney, South Carolina. That's yes, where we sir. are. Very good. Well, guys, there you are. That's our video. The events that happened out in this place prelude one of the more important battles that helped shape our country. The Battle of Calpins. I, I tell you what, I, I really am thankful uh, that we got this permission and we are welcome back. So this is probably going to be one of those places, it's kind of like uh, the King's Land where at first we don't know where to hunt. We got to zero in on the location like we did at the King's Land and we started finding some stuff. Well, same here. There's such a huge property. We're going to have to zero in on where the location is. We need to start finding those historical relics. We didn't find too awful much today. Uh, as far as that uh, campground goes, uh, I did find that piece of bean pot. It could have very easily have been from the camp. Who knows? We found some bucking balls. I hope you enjoy the video guys. We had a great time. Uh, I love getting on these historical locations. It's one thing I read it, read about in a history book is something completely different. I actually go out and find it and touch it. Amazing. Until next time guys, we'll catch you later. Bye. If you enjoy this channel, why not check out the Mike Noble Digging Store? Click on the link down below in the description and you can see shirts, coffee mugs, even face masks you can wear out in public. So take a look. It costs nothing to browse. I hope you enjoy.